Hey guys, TechnoMature with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about the battery life of iPhone 12 Pro after using it for many months, our experience, whether it's good or bad, and what you can expect of it in terms of different tests that we have done on this battery life so that you guys at least have a good idea of what to expect on the iPhone 12 Pro lineup battery life of it. But before we get ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe button. So let's dive into today's video of the battery life on the iPhone 12 Pro here. So to find the battery life, it's pretty much going to be something along this line. So what you're going to be looking at in the settings for the battery is that you're going to look at the battery health. Our battery health here is at 100%. It's because we made sure to follow these certain tips and tricks that can keep your battery health at 100%, which we'll leave a link in the description section so you guys can check that video out. But basically, the test was done on a full a new battery so the battery itself was in use so we can get the actual benchmark test of this device the iPhone 12 Pro does have a 2815 mAh battery capacity so that's slightly 7% smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro but still with the test that we have done we've seen a lot of things with it the phone does charge from 0 to 50 percent in about 30 minutes and uh, that, that comes with using a 20 watt wall adapter and for full charge we found that it takes about hour and 30 minutes so if you need to fully charge your phone even with the 20 watt it takes an hour and 30 minutes so that's something you'll notice so the iphone 12 pro there's a couple things to note about the battery life of the 12 pro of course if you're using it regularly if for example if you're using it for your social media uh watching maybe browsing watching videos all of that and much more the use time for the iPhone 12 Pro is about 12 hours so if you're a normal user that means maybe you're checking your phone a couple times uh, every half an hour or so or just doing things lightly and then doing other stuff you're gonna get about two hours or uh, 12 hours of usage time and 12 hours for the most part it's gonna last you through the whole day so if you charge it fully in the morning expect by nighttime you'll probably need to recharge it again that's the spec that we're seeing so 12 hours of video of playback in terms of actual usage when it comes to endurance test so this is the test that kind of determines okay if we have a full charge how long will the phone pretty much last if we don't do anything so bare minimum maybe very light stuff maybe just call and text here and there not even use the phone at the bare minimum it lasts about 81 hours so that's going to be pretty good because if you're not using anything and you just need the phone to last you're getting about 81 hours of the actual endurance of the phone so it's going to be some time but when you do use it for example if you're using it straight for talking so that's like being on a phone call it's going to take about 18 hours before the phone dies so if you're using it primarily just for calling and you should want to talk with someone let's say on a full charge after 18 hours the phone battery will die and when it comes to browsing so if you this the browsing test that we have done so this is purely if you were just use the phone straight to just browse along and then looking at stuff maybe you're just on the browser just constantly looking and checking stuff you're going to get about 12 hours and 30 minutes that's the test that came back when we were using the iPhone 12 Pro straight compared to the iPhone 11 which has only eight hours and 40 minutes this is slight bump of almost four hours significant different that we've seen this is specifically again when you're doing browsing only nothing else the next test we have done for the phone is actually a video streaming on YouTube so we played a YouTube video of continuously when the phone was at 100% and wanted to see when we played that how long it would take before the battery died so it took about six hours and 50 minutes of playing a youtube video before the phone died although apple does have a video playback time of 17 hours so that's if you're playing video natively on the phone so if you had a video 
maybe that you recorded or watching it locally on the phone, you're going to get about 17 hours of that. But if you're watching it on the internet or even using it for Netflix, expect about somewhere around seven hours before you need a charge, which again, not too bad. It's similar to the iPhone 11 Pro Max battery or video playback on YouTube as well. The next test we have done is around gaming. So we start to play 3D games. So 3D games are games that are really heavy gra on the graphics. So these are going to be games like uh, Call of Duty, PUBG, the ones that are meant to pretty much drain the battery quicker. We saw that it gets about 6 hours and 50 minutes of sh playing games. So if you're playing games like the ones that we have here, PUBG or any other game that are meant to be played on the console, expect about... A similar time of around six hours and 50 minutes and that's again it's going to be on a full charge and if you have fully charged it from 100 percent so that's what you're going to be expecting so so overall what do we think about the battery life of the iphone 12 pro well a couple things here the battery life is definitely exceeded some of the tests that we've seen slightly better than the iphone 11 pro that we've seen in some of the metric testing such as browsing and endurance tests as well and general usage the iphone 11 pro lasts about somewhere around 10 hours or so so with the iphone 12 pro you get roughly around 12 hours of usage but again, keep in mind that the battery life depends on a lot of things like the network, your signal strength, temperature of the phone, the surrounding environment it is, and how constantly you turn it on and how many apps you're multitasking. So a regular user, we say, you know, this phone probably lasts you a good 12 hours or so pretty much the whole day. But if you're a person that's glued to the phone on it straight, you're probably going to get around eight hours or so. So there you guys have it for our review of the battery life on the iPhone 12 Pro. Hopefully this video is helpful if you guys are deciding between this one or another phone. I want to hear from you guys if you guys have used the iPhone 12 Pro or have any experience with it. What kind of numbers you're getting in terms of the battery life and what did you think of that. And also if you guys want us to compare with other phones, leave a comment in the comment section. We'll try to compare that. So again, thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.